Hey people, Indrid here. It's back with the robots and stuff in it. And you know what? They made a new one. They put a new robot in. It's called a tarantula. You can see it in the top right there in the new updates. I haven't used it yet or seen it in action or anything. It was a few days ago now. They just call it a heavy mech. Apparently here it is. It's a big bastard, isn't he? I believe from what I've read, it's a anti-chaff unit. What does it say? Heavy unit equipped with two rapid fire cannons that can fight various enemies at medium range. Okay, that's an out that's almost 17,000 hit points at level 1. Bloody hell. Splashes 5 meters attack. That seems to attack really quick. 75 range seems quite short. How does that compare to an arc light? An arc light is 93 meter range. Attacks almost twice as slowly though and has less damage and way less hit points. Yeah, it's like a big fat scary arc light. And do I have any tech points? I do. Oh yeah, it's got this unique tech apparently. Fires two spider mines with 750 hit points every 15 seconds. The spider mines will charge at the enemy and self-destruct, dealing 4,500 damage to units to alter all units within nine meters. So maybe using this alongside your own crawlers is a bit dicey. Does it? Is it not limited? Just every 15 seconds forever. That seems quite good. Especially since I assume they take aggro and stuff. That seems actually really good. And I can get... I can get anti-air. I'm going to unlock armor enhancement. And... Oh, this makes them attack even faster. I'll take armor piercing bullets off and put armor enhancement on, I think. Okay. Oh, also... I can stop this music because I think they said they added their own music which YouTube won't get angry about so let's have a go at it shall we uh, I need to claim this stuff good and let's try it oh also another thing they have removed the Phoenix as a starting unit and replaced it with a tarantula so no more flying units in your starter packs. But it can get a big fat tarantula. I guess you counter the tarantula with the steel balls. I don't think... I'm not sure how sledgehammers would do against it. 17,000 hit points. I don't think sledgehammers could dent that level 1. Well, there it is with an aerial specialist. Elite specialist with tarantula. Eh? I'm going to go for supply specialist, I think. Oh, Stormcallers are probably pretty good against it. Let's go for cost control. Slightly weaker units, but we get more supplies. Giant specialist over here, and they've got arc lights and sledgehammers. Okay. So is it just 50 to unlock, I guess? Yeah, the tarantula. Mm. Some of that. I think I'll get fangs here. Yeah. Give me some of them fangs. I think they're slightly better than crawlers against those things. We just need something to take some hits. Not going to drop anything else, I don't think. Let's just save that 100, shall we? Oh, I kept the auto camera on since last time. I see. We have got some crawlers from the enemy. It changes the track when the uh, when the when the combat starts, I guess. Come on, fellas. See if I, I should have timed that so that the storm crawlers get a volley in before the fangs gets obliterated by that first volley. Storm crawlers might be able to do this. Maybe. Do, do, do sledgehammers one shot storm callers? They don't actually. At level one. Okay, I think maybe we've done enough. Oh, speed it up. Speed it up. Tis a victory on the first round. Hurrah. Hey. Shield airdrop is quite nice. Extended fortress range stuff. Deployment module, eh? I'm going to take the shield airdrop. I never use these things. 
Okay. So we lean more into some Stormcallers for the moment, perhaps. Let's unlock Marksman. I'm going to do mass recruitment for sure. Going to get double Stormcallers. And, uh, yeah, Marksman. Marksman, I think I'll have on them in the middle. So hopefully from there they won't get distracted by crawlers, although there could be more crawlers. And we'll do this. Keep the auto camera on. They got way more crawlers up, okay. We got some decent hits on the crawlers there as they ran through the sledgehammers a bit. Shield doing huge amounts of work, of course. And yeah, not a lot of crawlers made it into our back lines, eh? Did quite well there. As is usually the case, I haven't played the game for like a week or something. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. But uh, doing okay so far. Get some levels. I think Stormcaller levels are pretty good. Got to get a Rhino. Get some wait, a Mustang. Fire Badgers. A Freeze. Quite nice. What do I think the opponent's going to get? Hmm. He might get a Rhino up. The heck do I want? I think I'll get Mustangs. They're quite versatile, aren't they? I can get anti-air and things. And I will upgrade both of these fellas. That shield is still up, by the way. Can I check how much health it has or anything? No. Well, I'm going to mass recruit again, that's for sure. Hmm. Let's get some more Mustangs. And a couple of more fangs to help hold the line, take some hits for us. I like it. It's level three mustangs about there. The other ones. Maybe more on the flank actually. To help deal with those crawlers coming through. Don't think I wanna unlock anything, just gonna go. My opponent took the mustangs and got a bunch more mustangs, okay. Oh, I forgot how quick Mustangs are. Damn it. They're going to take sledgehammer shots now. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff through the middle to get my marksman. Need some more fangs in the middle, I think, maybe. the anti-missile Mustangs. That's what I should have predicted. They do use their main weapon, though. So I've heard conflicting things about whether you can just kind of overwhelm them with more Stormcallers or if you should just use something else. Still won the round. It was a dicey round, though. Should I try to overwhelm them with Stormcaller stuff and a repair kit? I'm going to get a supply specialist. Even more supply coming in. Give me some of this. And you, and you, since you're kind of tanking for us in the mid there a bit, Mr. Arclight. I wonder how the Tarantula is against the Mustangs. Probably quite good, actually. What do I want to grab here? Some late crawlers coming in would be good, actually. Hmm. Should be very good. Hmm. 
Or maybe a big fat scorpion. They're good against the sledgehammers as well, aren't they? Let's get a scorpions. Well, a scorpion, I guess. And I want more fangs for the middle. Where are the... Yeah, put the scorpion in the middle as well. Where those scary mustangs are. We'll do that. We have a sandworm. Okay. Oh, with the nano repair kit on it too. It could be bad. How much damage the scorpions do again? Almost 9,000. And the sandworm has 51,000 hit points. Okay. It's, it's a bloody lot. I'm going to get extended range for my storm cooler so they can attack. Get that first volley off earlier. I think I deployed the Mustangs way too far forward. Yeah, the sandworm's a big problem. Wait, do they still shoot at it when it's underground? Oh, I can zoom in and out. I didn't realise I can do that on the auto camera. Big loss here. Do I need to melting point now because of this sandworm? This is a massive loss. On that round. Almost caught up on hit points there. Look at that. Okay, there's tech specialist. Well, can I make the energy shield better? Does that count as a device? Oh, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure if that does. I'm just going to take this. So, I guess we melting point here. How fast are you fellas? You're really slow. Hopefully it gets onto the sandworm. I should maybe bring you like this. We'll throw the shield up. I think on this side actually. Around there. I'm not gonna throw that in. I don't think I need speed or anything. Try this. What do we see? Another sandworm? No, we did not get another sandworm. In fact, I can't see what he got. Which is upsetting. Maybe they're saving up for something big and scary, eh? I need an extended range of my melting points for sure. Damn it, they're shooting at other stuff. Shoot the worm. Shoot the worm. They are busy shooting crawlers. There's so many crawlers. I have not dealt with the crawlers. At all. Oh, did they have replicate or something? I think they have replicate. That was a lot of damage. Okay, they're going to level up that worm now as well. Portable shield. I'm not going to actually take it, though. Doesn't help against crawlers, does it? Yeah, it's a lot of crawlers with replicate and stuff now. Hmm. Level you up. When they get extended range here, when they get extended range here as well. They have extended range arc lights, which I don't like. Do this and this. Hmm. Could get a Vulcan up. Or just more arc lights. Or tarantulas, of course. How much is extended range for these guys? 250. I think they buffed the Vulcan a bit. Can they get a bloody Vulcan? Yeah, I'm just going to have you there. Anything else I might want to get? I get another arc light as well. 
on. Please let me pick up this guy. There we go. Over there. And maybe one of these. Or not. Okay, smoke is going in. They've got another bloody sandworm. Look how much sooner my storm callers can fire now. Which holds up the Mustangs. Go, go Vulcan. Melting point still. I'm not targeting the worms though. Yeah. Look at the amount of crawlers. I am so dead. So dead. Very dead. Big oof. I needed to. Uh respond to those all those crawlers a lot sooner I think they seem to very suddenly become a problem let's try again maybe I should have got a tantra up oh, okay it's 2v1 alongside that Martian against Cobra and some kind of doctor there we go Dunesh <laughs> okay can we do better here just couldn't get the melting points onto the sandworms because of all the crawlers Maybe just like mass extended range arc lights would have been the way. So I think the Vulcan was just kind of too short range, especially with that smoke coming in. They already made a bunch of replications before it got there. I'm going to try Elite Specialist. Okay, my ally has Giant Specialist. Enemies with marksmen. Oh, both marksmen. Okay. They're at the same speed, I think. Crawlers and Mustangs. I definitely want the crawlers arriving first. I may double the Mustangs up on this side because we have one of those compact maps. So maybe I'll do a bit of that. Up against steel balls, crawlers, and a marksman. So maybe the case of just going more crawlers here. Hmm. Do it. And unlock. Marksman. Allies got steel balls and crawlers and fangs. And there's the tarantulas. Look at the size of the bastards. So I wonder if they both, if they buy, fire both of those guns at the same time, or if it's like alternating. Get rid of that auto camera. Please. Manual camera, there we go. They are quite short range, aren't they? Oh, they alternate them. That's cool. Level 2 crawlers doing some good work. Is it good enough though? Ally got a tower kill overloading that one side. Yeah, my level 2 crawlers continue to be pretty damn effective here. You win both sides. Some amount of damage there. What do we have? There's that shield air, shield airdrop. There's nano repair kits. I'm going to grab it. I don't think I'll put on anything yet. Now I'm going to promote those crawlers because they did a huge amount of work for me. So we may see some more fangs, uh, more arc lights from the enemy here. Hmm. They don't have any anti air at the moment. 
Oh, aside from the marksman, of course. I think I'm going to get some wasps going. Oh, I can't because I'm bloody elite spec. Damn it. I think I'll get a marksman help deal with those steel balls at the end. Not using the nano repair kit yet. But what I might do is get attack enhancement. Forgot about the elite spec costing me more. Yeah, you got more arc lights. Go, go, level three crawlers. Looks like we lose this round. Level two marksman one shotting these steel balls, eh? That's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. Come on, that's it. Can they one shot an arc light? They can. Can they one shot a level two arc light, though? No. Oh, dang it, we both lost our sides. Well... Sabertooths I always love. Rank 3 Sabertooth as well. For 50? Yeah, 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 get it. Get it, get it, get it. Have it on this side, can tank for us. And then uh, wasps, please. And a repair kit can go on the saber tooth for sure. Mm. Can I get more crawlers here? I'm trying to overwhelm the arc lights. I think I get another marksman actually. A bit further up. Where do I want these wasps? I think on this side, try and go for that tower. Break it up. Okay, what do I want to unlock here? Wraiths could be pretty good. I assume they're going to respond with anti-air stuff, though. I'm not going to unlock them. Didn't want to spend that hundred. Oh, damn it. They went typhoons. Bye-bye, wasps. I just sell them now. I paid for it bloody unlocking them as well. Just sell them and get more saber tooths, maybe. Saber tooth can maybe just solo all of this because of the nano repair kit. Storm coolers could good. Good for me as well. Who's this? Are those my crawlers or my allies? Where the hell did you come from? Oh, the other fella got a bloody saber tooth as well. Go, go, narrow, narrow repair. Yeah. Little bit of damage there. Okay. Do I just get rid of these wasps now? Mass pr produced fortresses, eh? Just gonna skip that. Didn't one of these guys get. No, they both got marksmen. My ally got giant, yeah. I think I just get rid of those wasps. And. Leveled you up, buddy. 
and you. And give you extended range. And get more of you. Blast these typhoons. Hopefully we have enough to deal with the crawlers. You guys haven't leveled up yet, these Mustangs, eh? Bloody hell. Come on now. Uh, and I'm going to get this thing. Oh, did I, I don't think I unlocked anything that round. Enemy has a sandworm. Which we do not like. Annoying shields here. But Sabertooth got, got through them pretty quickly. Hit like a truck, these Sabertooths. 26,000 damage this guy's doing. Oh, they do have electromagnetic shots, though. It's not, it's not disabling the healing because that's coming from an item, but it is disabling their range. Oh, that's quite a lot of damage from us there. Nice. Nice. Hey, those Mustangs leveled. Another Nano Repair Kit, yes. This guy is leveled. I'll give you Nano Repair. Beautiful. Level you up. Yeah, I think it's worth getting range for these Mustangs so they stay away from stuff. Maybe. Let's see what else we can get first. I don't want to lean too much into Sabertooths. They may get rhinos or melting points or something. Do I need more chaff? I need more chaff clear. Maybe. There's only three squads of crawlers. I'm going to get range on you fellas. Get some more of yours. And... Uh, sure. Another marksman. And I can unlock something for free. Sure. Damn it. Ouch. Three amazing hits. Took out a bunch of my Mustangs and I'm struggling with the crawlers and there's a melting point as well. Balls. I wonder how that would have gone without the barrage coming in though. Need some late crawlers coming in to distract this melting point. Oh, I could also use an orbital javelin just to take it out. 70% damage on that is quite nice as well. What would I put that on though? Because the saber tooths are basically already one shotting stuff. Well, they aren't one shotting the melting point. Hmm. I think I'm just going to javelin it this round. And everything's nicely bunched up. Because if we lose this round big, we could lose the whole thing. I'm trying to be greedy and get that typhoon as well. I'll do that. I think that's hitting all of them. Not sure if it's one shot in it. If it gets a level, I think it, oh, it might be. It might be. May just be a bunch of late crawlers. So I've got a bunch. I've got loads of damage already. 
more late crawlers, please. What would be useful for these guys to get? Oh, maybe subterranean. Hmm, maybe. I want to get electromagnetic for you fellas. Yes. Get that. Because that melting point could get the uh, heal on hit thing. Oh no! Javelin my saber tooth, but it survived it somehow and has the nano repair. Here's my lake crawlers. Their melting point did survive the javelin barely. Oh, a bunch of overlords from my ally. Big air force. You may win. That's a lot of damage from those overlords. They're 400 each. Yes. Big round gets the victory at the end. Cool. It is a victory today, at least. Let's go for one more. It is a 1v1. You can do this, come on. Alrighty. Hmm. I'm gonna try supply spec. My opponent went for giant spec. I hate giant specs. against crawlers and mustangs. I think I just go for my own crawlers here. Yeah. Hopefully they can overwhelm the mustangs. Maybe we'll go like this. A little bit heavier on this side. I don't got marks for not. Shoot down. Can they one shot my fangs at level one? No. Sorry, arc lights. I always call them fangs. They cannot. They can. I don't think they can one shot a sledgehammer either. their first shot going to be? Oh, their first shot got an arc light. Instead of getting a crawler just slightly mistimed there. And that was their plan. Take out an arc light before their crawlers even got to the front line. Both of my towers gone. We lose the first round, that's for sure. Okay. Tarantula, eh? Should I get one? Is my opponent going to get tarantulas? Is the question. I'm actually going to get a rhino because I think opponent's going to get tarantulas and I don't want to get steel balls because of the crawlers. So I'll get this fella. Maybe with whirlwind immediately. And then a couple more crawlers in. Coming in, a, coming in a little bit sooner so that they take the first shot from the marksman and not the arc light. There, because I think that 
the other crawlers are slightly late. Not massively late, just slightly late. Put the rhino here. Uh, here. Don't take the first shot there, bud. Fangs. More marksmen, apparently. Oh, and a bunch of fangs. Bloody hell. Glad I got that whirlwind. Still shot me arc light first. Bloody hell. Worked a bit better on the other side. Oh, I wasn't expecting me to win the other side. Alrighty. And a repair kit for sure for me, Rhino. Promote you guys. Still want to promote my crawlers. Am I just feeding XP to stuff? I'm gonna promote them. I like to promote those fellas. Hmm. I'll go more rhinos. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Unlock marksman for free, I suppose. Got some late rhinos coming in. And uh, let's all see this spectacularly backfire. It's a fortress. Oh yeah, giant spec. I always forget. Can unlock the bastards for free. And they're doing 7,000 damage per shot. Rhinos do hit quite hard though. Yeah, we couldn't get through there. Go, go, sledgehammers. There is a way to make... Yeah, they do get mechanical rage. So you can make them shoot faster, which increases their DPS, of course. Another shot, Sledgehammer. Yeah, got the fortress down. So even if they do win this round, they're not going to get that 400 damage in. Oh, these marksmen do not have electromagnetic. Hmm. may get this thing. Improved Wraith, eh? Let's go for that. Don't use Wraiths that much. Let's try some Wraith action. At least get one of them, eh? And then... Wreckage recycling, maybe? Hmm. I don't want to give you guys even more range. But maybe not yet. So I'll put you on this side. Gonna rank you up there, bud. And you. I think it's just gonna be more crawlers. Put them here. So they definitely take that first shot, please. How fast the race? They're pretty fast, yeah, pretty fast. Put you like that. I guess I could. Ah, oh, I was going to throw a shield over here. That's a lot of fortresses. Do they have the anti-air thing? They do. Do I go melting points then now? Me? 
Maybe. Got two of the fortresses down. I didn't check to see if my opponent did indeed get the uh, senior manufacturing specialist thing. I didn't seem like they did. Okay. Ooh, Sabretooth. That's big chunks of damage. Stormcrawlers are also pretty nice. It's Sabretooth time. What I'm going to do is get Photon Emission. Do I just get rid of this wraith? Because of those bloody marksmen. Let's just get field maintenance. And get some more. Don't panic, sell them. Uh, do air units benefit from the photon emission? I guess we'll see. I think they do. And I think I want another Sabretooth, to be honest. Help me shoot down these... Uh, maybe we'll put one here so it'll give... No, let's put it here. Help me shoot down these fortresses, please. Scorpion in play. Oh, it didn't seem to affect the wraiths. The photon. At least I don't get the visual effect for it. Maybe that I need. I need better clearing, chaff clearing now. So I'm wasting a lot of shots on fangs and crawlers and stuff. I'm gonna take another big chunk of damage here. Okay, I'll take it. Definitely promote you fellas, definitely promote you fellas, your big damage dealers. And a repair on this guy. I need clear and I need melting points though. Get a big fat Vulcan up. Could get a couple of them. Not where you're going to immediately take fortress shots, though. Maybe like back here. No, I think I need to have you there. And I could put Ignite so that you actually can do percentage based damage to larger targets on you. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe need to sell the rhinos, maybe. Order race, I don't think the race were a great pull because of the marksmen. Oh, they got hackers now. That's not good. That's not good. Back to me, Rhino. Big damage. Dead. Dang it. Should not have sunk all that cash into a Vulcans, I think. Should we do one more? Let's try one more. I don't think it's quite been an hour. It may have been. Against nice, nice, exactly the same MMR. Hopefully, it's as bad as me. 
I think the wraiths were bad. I got too excited about that wraith improvement card. And uh, it was just a bad. I played into those marksmen. It's dumb plays. Dumb, dumb plays. Okay. Let's try Elite Spec. And it comes with a tarantula. Up against Tarantulas and Marksmen with Fortified Specialist. Great. Okay. You guys are pretty slow, right? Yeah, pretty slow. Can I overwhelm the Tarantulas with a whole bunch of crawlers? Or do I just go steal balls here? The pay to unlock them, though. I can't even buy them on the first round. Because of Elite Spec. Balls. I mean, marksmen are not going to do much against almost 20... Wait, what? Why did they have almost 20,000? Oh, because of this thing. Balls. I need steel balls. Well... I don't know if I want to get a bunch of crawlers and just feed them crawler XP. But I don't know what else I can do here. Marksmen aren't going to do much. Even at level 2, I think. I think it's my best play. I mean, 4,000 damage per shot. At least they can take out the enemy marksman quickly. Maybe. Enemy crawlers are there stacking one side. Great. Yeah, maybe not too bad. I do have my tarantula still. Okay. A meager victory. But a victory. Alrighty. Ah, there's my steel balls. Which means the opponent can also take steel balls. Blast that tarantula down and also blast the other marksman down. While well, not getting too distracted, let's unlock fangs. Should I put one on this side to help? Take this guy out quicker. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Oh. We have flanking crawlers. Great. Not on that side though. Yeah. Could get steel balls. And phoenixes. Great. The extended range marksman for sure. Looks like we take the round. I actually get super distracted by these guys. Ooh, heavy armor. Amplifying core. I'm 
I'm just going to take that. So you fellas, rank you up for sure. I don't want range. And... I'm actually going to get more crawlers on this side. And unlock what? I guess arc lights for free. And then there's some more hit points here. Okay. That's 5,000 damage, isn't it? Yeah, so it's going to one shot my marksman. One of them. Oh, maybe not. They haven't walked into it yet. Aha! The crawlers took the hit. It's kind of lucky. More phoenixes, eh? Phoenixes are something that can get out of hand. I do have anti-air spec on my marksman now. Because of that extra range for anti-air, they, they can, like, target the Phoenixes first. Lightning Storm, eh? Speed Specialist. I think I'm going to take Speed Spec. Promote you fellas for sure. Do I get some Spider Mines going? It's going to blow up my own crawlers, isn't it? I think that's what's going to happen if I do that. Oh, they got phoenixes on this side now. Hmm. I'm actually going to go triple crawlers here, because I only have one tarantula on either side. It's not a huge amount, is it? And these guys can help me quickly deal with that. some of that. Don't think I'm going to unlock anything. Another one of those. Oh, we got sandworms now. Great. Hey, trying to deal with sandworms. Steel balls should be decent at it. Yeah, as long as they can target them, of course. Those phoenixes took the marks one out. So I wonder if it is worth getting the anti-air marksman now. Maybe able to get quick kills on the phoenixes. I mean I haven't lost any hit points yet, but this I often lose my way in like the mid game. Melting points are nice. Wasps could be good. Well, they do. They would have the anti air for the sandworms. Maybe my opponent's going to get wasps. Can I get a melting point for sure? What I might want to go do is get Mustangs, because I'm afraid of these wasps coming in. I can't get extended range and another Mustang. So just do that for now. You guys there. You guys back here. I have extended range for my melting point as well, of course. I think these guys are doing well. I think I'll spend the rest on mechanical rage, maybe. Oh no, let's level up these guys. 
Let us get promotions. Another sandworm here. They went fire badges, okay. So they did not go for the wasps. Oh, they've got the sandstorm thing. I hate this. Do I get rhinos? I mean, we got through it there. Did not know. Did not go great on that side. But we have enough. Haste module a lot. Definitely need to rank up these. The crawlers are doing huge amounts of work for me now too. I think I'm gonna get them replicate here. I mean they do have fire badges though now. So what it might be is get more steel balls. Steel balls are pretty good in its badges, I think. Although so are marksmen, to be honest. They haven't got any more phoenixes up. Hmm. I think I'm going to get steel balls for this sandworm. He's a big old problem. Do I double shot? And then get more marksmen. I think I may. I'm gonna take those fire batches out quick, please. Okay, see how this goes. Oh, I can drop in this thing as well, maybe. Oh, there's a nuke. That's not good. So it's definitely going to hit my melting point and those two marksmen. Which sucks. Wait, it didn't kill my melting point. That's amazing. Melting points are insanely tough. But I've got another bloody sand sandworm over it. Maybe I should reinforce my uh, tower or something. There's four sandworms. Wasps might be really good here, actually. Being able to get rank 3 wasps. No, I just want to skip. Oh, I could use this to disable the sandstorm thing, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll work the way I want it to. Got another 50 I can drop in. Maybe I'll to kill him here, so maybe we'll go for this. And, uh, oops, what the hell did I buy? Oh, I bought this, you idiot. Well, 
I should probably spend that on getting more stuffs then. Do you know what? It might be more... It might be more crawlers. And we'll chuck this thing again. Alright, I never gave anything the haste module. So I was thinking of getting rhinos for it. I'm gonna put it on some crawlers. Go on, fellas. Oh, should I should have put it on the level 3 crawlers. Oh, you're such an idiot. Okay. Wasps from the opponents. I never did get range on my melting points, did I? Go, go, crawlers. Looks like I've done enough here. If you have enough firepower, you can get through this, the sandstorm stuff, I suppose. Victorious. Finally. Feels like forever since I won a 1v1. And there you are. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.